think we should have stayed in. I'm feeling a bit tired. Listen, we won't stay long, OK? Remember what I said, you've done nothing wrong. Come on. Fine, and a white wine, please, Jenny. I'll just have a lemonade, please. I'm on medication. <laughs> I can't believe they've got the nerve. Alia, leave it, please. Have you interviewed her yet? Please, this is neither the time nor the place. Just leave us alone, will you, Alia? You had your say earlier. No, I won't leave you alone until you admit what happened. I swear. I did nothing but stand on that roof. You can ask Gina. All right, we shouldn't have been up there, but there's got to be another reason why it all came down. No, I'm sorry, I don't buy it. You must have done something, damaged something. She's done nothing wrong. Now back off, will you? I'm sick of you accusing folk of stuff when you haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Sally's right, though, isn't she? How's that? Something must have happened to have caused the roof to be that unstable. I suppose so, yeah. But you didn't see anything. I mean, you were working up there. Well, like I told him, I had to start with the fire damage, mate. I didn't see the rest of the roof. I'm sorry. Where's your sister? I need to have a word. She's gone away. When? Last night. Why, what are you thinking? Carla was in charge of that factory, and now she's disappeared. She's not disappeared. She's with Peter. That's like everyone's been saying, though, isn't it? Roofs just don't fall down. Someone knows more than they're letting on, and I'm going to find out who. Starting with Carla Connor. 